Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Thank you for clicking on this video. It's been a while since my last post, but I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed since I've last posted a video. I am now closing in on 3,000 subscribers, which is really awesome. So thank you so much for subscribing um, and watching my videos. But for my comeback tutorial, we will be in DaVinci Resolve and we'll be looking at uh, illumination versus saturation and hue versus saturation and kind of how to manipulate those channels to get different sorts of looks and how to make the colors, you know, really control the colors of our image. So here's one clip that I've color corrected and I'm not going to be color correcting the entire clip from scratch. If you're new to DaVinci Resolve, you can watch some of my past videos on how to kind of create a look from scratch. Um, but for now, um, I'm going to delete this current look and we're going to take a look at it. So here is my base color correction, and you know I just balanced out the levels. You know, add some contrast and saturation, white balanced, um, and just did a little extra tweaking. But one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new node, and I'm going to go up to uh, where it says curves and where it says custom drop down box. I'm going to go straight to illumination versus saturation, or loom versus sat. And right here we have like this line, this little graph um, with two points on the end. So there are these two little boxes at the bottom here. There's black and white, and I'm going to click them, and they add two points to our graph here. And what that's going to do is if I take this point and lower it or raise it, it's going to saturate the uh, dark pixels in the image, or if I raise it, it's going to saturate the dark pixels in the image. And the same thing for the um, point up here, it's going to saturate or desaturate the uh, brighter pixels in the image. So if I bring that up, it's basically going to saturate all of the, the bright pixels in the image with more of the hot spots on her face. Um, and the shadows are really uh, saturated as well because I have the uh, uh, you know dark point down here uh, all the way saturated. If I could desaturate that and then it'll bring out the, you know, lower the colors. You know, one thing we do is create a nice, nice little hill here. So it'll saturate the entire image. So it's a quick way to have control over saturation. We can also add some points by clicking on the line and we can just really mess around with things, get some weird looks, um, but I'm not a fan of that. That's a quick way to saturate your image by controlling the shadows and highlights of your image. Another thing we can do is go to Hue versus Sat. And what we can do is select all these uh, boxes at the bottom and I'll go ahead and create points on our line. And if I say click the uh, point where the yellow information is at and raise it up, it'll go ahead and saturate some of her hair. And if I raise up the reds, it's going to go ahead and saturate um, her face and it's going to look it's gonna look horrible, but just kind of showing you what that looks like. So let's go ahead and do this on a better image to get a better idea since there isn't a lot of information in this clip. So here we are with another shot, which I've already uh, color corrected. And we have some green information, some blues, even some red and uh, some oranges. So this is a great example of how we can really effectively utilize this uh, graph right here. So I already have my points created on the chart. And let's say if I wanted to take out some of this green information, um, what I could do is click the uh, point where the green's at and really raise it up. Um, but, that's, but that's not going to do much because it's actually more over in the yellow information. So what I could do is take the uh, point where the yellow information's at and drag it to the left a little bit. And that will help saturate that shot a little bit because it was more of a yellow greenish sort of look rather than just a pure green. So you just might just have to move these points over a little bit to get that to you know, get that full spectrum of that color. Another thing is her shirt's blue, so I, if I want, I can really increase the blue. I know you might not be able to see it so much, but that uh, definitely punched up her shirt a little bit. So if I want to saturate her face even more than what it is already, even though I'm not a fan of doing that, we got to keep in mind that her face, her hair, the wall, and the blinds are basically, you know, have the same very similar color information. So saturated, saturating her skin tones might be a little bit hard. Uh, but one thing we have to do is just pinpoint where it is on the chart. So uh, between these two points, between like red and the uh, orange yellow point, if I click up, if I add a point between those two and just raise that up, it will basically pull out her skin tones a little bit more, even though it's not perfect. So what I can do is just kind of stretch these out a little bit, kind of even that out, smooth it out. And that did saturate her face in the background a little bit, uh, but first of all, I mean, anyway, that's a horrible look, but just kind of showing you kind of the precision of this uh, way to color correct. So taking those points and you know moving them apart really helped smooth out the effect, but I actually might have the effect a little too high, so I'll lower the information just a little bit, the red point a little bit, um, and that looks not too bad, actually. So this was uh, the before this effect, and this is after the effect. 
So that is pretty, it's a pretty cool technique, especially if you're on the go. Um, it doesn't take long to do this. You just add points and you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. It helps me out tremendously. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I will see you next time.